One of the top questions that I get asked on this channel is, Emily, can your laser cut and engrave metal? And the short answer is no. No, it can't. Hey maker, Emily here, otherwise known as that mom with a laser and the brand ambassador for Eon Laser USA. And in today's video, I get to do something a little different. I am going to set up and play with my first metal marking laser and it's this fabulous EMP fiber laser. Huge shout out to EMP for sending it over to me. If you follow my channel because you're looking to learn more about CO2 lasers, right now is a really good time to take a look at Eon Laser USA because they are offering a free EMP fiber when you purchase a CO2. It's a steal, it's a great deal. You're basically getting two really nice lasers for the price of one. So if you wanna learn more about that sale, it ends on December 22nd, and I have a link below with more details on all the different options. A fiber laser like this one comes into play when you want to actually carve into metal, which you cannot do with my CO2 lasers, okay? So I'll give you an example. My CO2, I know you guys have seen me on the channel engrave, um, you know, tumblers like these. I'm not engraving metal. What I'm really doing is I'm recruit, I'm removing the coating on the cup, okay? And if I wanted to engrave a cup that was all metal, I'd have to buy a marking spray, which is around at least $100. I'd have to spray it onto the cup, okay? And then etch into that marking spray. You're not actually engraving the metal. Whereas here, you are. So one of the things that really makes this a nice fiber is the fact that it has a smart keys right here on the tower. No other fiber that I know of has this. This is something that's, you know, right now it's exclusive to EMP. So you can start, you can stop, you can frame right from here. If you're familiar with CO2s, think of it kind of like a mini Ruida right on your fiber. There's also an integrated exhaust fan right over here. And you can also control that right from the keypad right there. Now, that's an upgrade option depending on the fiber you get, but I love that that's even an option. You know, I don't have to go get a third party one. And what I really love about it is that I don't even need an outlet. It plugs right into the tower in the back. So that's one less plug that I need to take up space with. Then there's also this really snazzy task light that you can control right from the tower. Check that out. I didn't know how important this was until I started making like TikToks and reels. And those of you that love fiber lasers, all of you were like, where did you get that? And I was like, I'm sorry, it's exclusive to EMP. Other fiber lasers don't have that yet. And that just goes to show guys how EMP went the extra mile to make things nicer to work with, with their fiber laser. There's also the fact that you get US-based customer support. My understanding is when it comes to desktop fibers like this, you are pretty much left to your own devices to figure things out. However, with an EMP, if you do run into issues, you, sub, you, know, you go to the website, you submit a support ticket, and somebody gets in touch with you. Either email, phone call, FaceTime, I mean, whatever the issue is, they're there to give you unlimited tech support. That's a huge plus. All right, that's enough showing off how fabulous this thing is. Let's go ahead and make some stuff.
Okay, so I'm over here playing with, you know, this fiber and I'm just in awe of how quickly it is engraving stuff that takes, you know, a minute or so on my CO2, but it's taking just seconds here on the fiber. So I thought it would be fun to put them up against each other and let you guys see what the differences are. And hopefully that will help you also understand why some applications are better with one laser than they are with another. All right, so let's take a minute to compare and see what we learn. Now, keep in mind that this is my first run with this, guys. I don't even, I haven't even taken time to learn how to dial in settings. And that, that is, that's, I basically have a long learning curve ahead of me, okay? I'm just working off with some basic starter settings. So as you saw with the um, business card, this was really nice. It's nice and white, it's legible, and it's very clean, okay? Now with my CO2, it was more of like a dirty, I don't know, it doesn't look as clean. It's definitely not white. It's like a dirty metal look. Um, and I would definitely need a smaller lens if I want to do, um, you can see that it's not as like legible. 
okay? So probably a smaller lens, but it's still doable, but this was obviously a lot faster, right? Then with the coaster, now I know my CO2 settings for coasters, so this looks really nice, but you saw it did take a lot longer, but I could achieve something similar, you know, with the slate here. I don't think this is the best example. Again, I'm just working off of like starter settings, but this was a lot faster, and I'm sure once I dial in my settings, I can get it to look even more pronounced like it did here. I don't have another little dog tag, but this was great. I mean, these would sell really well, right? That was easy, so easy. I'm excited about these. I wanna see if I can get them in different colors. And then the leatherette, I mean, it saved me a ton of time. This was so fast, and look how clean. I haven't cleaned it, guys. That's what it looks like with the leatherette. And this one, I did a different name so I don't waste them, but look how dirty it is. And this one took closer to a minute, whereas this took just a few seconds. So that's just the beginning of what's gonna be a fun journey of learning how to work with a laser in 2024. But there are lots of materials to test ahead of me. This is just a good, I don't know, starting point. Well guys, there you have it. This is a really nice new piece of equipment. I'm excited to have it here in the shop and I'm looking forward to learning, you know, not only how to use it, but being really creative to create new and different things, hopefully um, in the future. You know, it's funny, I, at, at, at first I wasn't very excited about a fiber just because the things that tend to sell with a fiber are not things that I'm into, um, but I am starting to come up with some really great fun ideas. And so I, I really think this is gonna be a great addition to the shop. With that said, like I said, if you're shopping for a CO2 and you happen to watch this video during the right time frame, Eon Laser USA is offering a free fiber laser with the purchase of a CO2 laser. So you can click the link below to see all the details on that sale. This is a special edition fiber that was sent to me. So there are some features like the ring light and the LED logo and the integrated um, keypad here. That's not included with the free one that comes with the sale, but you can upgrade and get something similar. So with that guys, I'm looking forward to 2024 new fiber stuff coming soon. Thanks for being here and I'm wishing you guys a very happy holiday. See you guys soon right here at That Mom with a laser. Bye guys. <laughs>